Okay, so I got a little cut off last time. So if we, again, if we take this, the second um, uh, spatial derivative of the, um, of the uh, wave function, uh, then we get minus k squared times that wave function right back. Okay, and if we multiply that by minus h bar squared over 2m, okay, then we get h bar squared k squared over 2m times the wave function. And again, this is equal to p squared over 2m. Remember, h bar k is equal to p. That's the second de Broglie relationship. Okay, and so uh, now we're getting somewhere because now we actually have two pieces of the sort of um, uh, the sort of conservation of energy. Okay, so let's let's look at conservation of energy again. So we have E is equal to p squared over 2m plus u. Okay, and remember we if we're using the de Broglie relationships, that's equal to h bar omega is equal to h bar squared k squared over 2m plus u. Remember u is the um, the, the potential energy. Now if we just multiply both sides of this of, of this equation by psi, we haven't done anything. I mean we haven't done anything important um, because we've multiplied both sides by psi. Okay, and but now um, if we then stick in uh, from the previous slide, if we if we put in uh, the expressions for h bar omega which are i h bar times the first time derivative and for h bar squared k squared over 2m we have minus h bar squared over 2m times the second spatial derivative and then u is just u then we have something different so we have now what something which is called an operator okay um, this uh, this right here is actually called the Hamiltonian operator And we're not going to talk about it till later, okay? But you see that it's it's a uh, it's it's an interesting const construct because it's it's some it's a uh, it's it's uh, something which multiplying which is multiplying a function a wave function, but it contains it contains a derivative part, okay? Um, and so we'll talk about this uh, later on. But this is um, not today, but we'll talk about it later on in the class. Okay, so in any case, we have this relationship, and now if we basically just um, just uh, distribute the psi on into both sides of the equation, we have what's called the one-dimensional Schrödinger equation. I put time dependent in parentheses because um, because it's uh, it, the most mo it's the this is the most general form of the Schrödinger equation, and so time dependent is is optional. Really, it's just the one-dimensional Schrodinger equation, but because we're going to talk about in a few minutes the time-independent Schrodinger equation, um, I wanted to make the distinction. Okay, so again, I've just distributed the psi, the wave function, uh, onto both sides of the equation, and um, you have minus h bar squared over 2m d square squ d square psi del square psi dx squared plus u of x psi of x and t is equal to i h bar d psi dt. Okay, and this um, this term right there is the time in, is a time independent potential, and um, it, in principle it can be time dependent. But as we're going to talk about in a second, it helps us. Uh, the most in the simplest case, it's time independent, and it helps us to think of that that way at the, for the moment. Okay, so this is the famous Schrödinger equation. All right, and so I, we've derived it in a sense. We've done some guesses which has, have helped us. But this is, uh, now you kind of see where it comes from. So this is the kinetic energy term, okay? This right here is the kinetic energy term. Um, this is the potential energy term, and this is the total energy, okay? And so um, basically it's conservation of energy. It's, it's, a, it's sort of a, uh, a uh, uh, so the Schrodinger equation basically has to do with sort of conservation of classical mechanical energy. All right. Now, as we as we went through this derivation, um, uh, we we showed that the in general that that the wave function psi is generally complex valued. Okay, so it's got real and imaginary parts, and importantly, the probability density of the particle of finding the particle at x dp dx is given by the complex magnitude squared. Okay, it's psi squared 